Well, I'm very happy to be here. And insistence of uh, Dinesh, and very good. That insistence is very good. And uh, probably first time I've been invited to Nistats <laughs> for a seminar. <laughs> and uh, so, uh, but Dinesh, mo more than that, no, there are two more reasons why I thought it's too important to come here. One is that. Uh, Dinesh has been quarrelling with me on uh, traditional knowledge for 25 years. That's been <laughs> so it's a, some kind of a reminiscence. So when he asked me to come, I got into this trip to just get back to maybe tell a story here of uh, 30 years of uh, engagement with variety of dialogues on traditional knowledge systems and uh, tried to cultivate it in some direction. So I thought maybe I just tell the story of this dialogue. Then we heard a voice in the morning, opinion's voice. It's almost like emergency time, pain access speaking. What is last session? That voice was almost like that. It was almost in those times, reactions to that. Uh, this I'm talking about mid 70s. Uh, and uh, some inspirations from students' movement in Europe, where you could question corporate world, totally dismiss the corporate future of humanity. And uh, Naxalbari movement, you could dismiss, you could even think of state can be undone just by, with those, all those boldnesses put together, uh, this uh, coinage uh, of uh, traditional knowledge systems, there's a future of uh, humanity with that. That kind of thoughts came through. An awareness of uh, acute politics in knowledge, that knowledge is not something very neutral. And, and it is torn. There is some kind of conceptual hegemony, which uh, sort of the scenario of knowledge forces us to reflect on. So with this, all these uh, questioning put together, we had formed an organization called uh, PPST Foundation 32 years ago. It had a very strange name. The name is Patriotic and People-Oriented Science and Technology Foundation. Foundation became later. But uh, there was a very conscious, um, very conscious thought that knowledge is not something very neutral. It's not something which is uh, um, which is divorced from values, from society, from aspirations, from you know projections of future, etc. And there is uh, a lot of injustice which has been done to knowledgeable people of uh, non-Western traditions, having different kind of knowledge, etc. And there is this very concrete injustice which is there. So we, uh, 12 years of uh, bulletin writing started. PPST bulletin was uh, some dozen odd year, 25 issues, where all kind of research on traditional knowledge, uh, voluntary research, professionally people were doing something or other, but uh, begin, including this Volker's report which Vanna quoted in the morning, was quite a discovery. The agriculture, traditional agriculture in India, the water management system in India, you know, and uh, medicine, Indian medicine, the housing, the environment, everything. This is so much of uh, wealth in there. Uh, so that kind of another thing of uh, plus uh, theoretical systems, you know, grammar, and uh, mathematics and other things. That where is this? This knowledge is not there in 
universities, it's not there, it's there in people. Uh, state is not uh, nurturing it. It's at that time um, that there was also another aspiration which came and which was that, okay, you can critique, critique West, keep critiquing West all the time and uh, it doesn't lead you, uh, lead one to any much of constructive, constructive uh, kind of uh, activities. It's too much of critiquing which has gone in. And uh, so one of the ideas which was born in late 80s was to construct a public pl platform where uh, discourse on traditional knowledge can, uh, can, can, can sort of uh, go on. And varieties of uh, thinking about it can, uh, can find a platform that there is not only, you know, intellectuals critiquing the knowledge, politics of knowledge, and looking at uh, traditional systems or nothing, uh, truths and details about it. Uh, there are people, living people, who are, you know, so living knowledge is, is their life, is their, This living people needs to be a living tradition of some kind, which needs something has to be done towards it. It, it probably gave idea of a movement, which was a very ambitious kind of idea, that there is actually a knowledge, not just fossilized knowledge, but living. There are artisans, there are uh, agriculture, there is people still drinking water from uh, the old system of uh, water. So, it, can there be politics of this knowledge? Uh, and because this knowledge is people, people knowledge. Uh, so this would be a platform, that was an imagination. So first Congress of Traditional Science and Technology was held at IIT Bombay in 93. So all of us, and uh, Many people who thought about uh, issues of traditional knowledge were together in that, maybe three, four hundred papers, thousand five hundred, eight hundred uh, delegates, many technologies being shown there, government taking interest in, in that Congress. And um, surprising thing was that the support for that Congress, which now we think back, into that, uh, it was funded by banks. I mean, this probably may not many people know. It wasn't funded by the government directly. Wagul, ICA, CIA, IDBI, it's the bank which funded it. Bank saw, the bank saw the traditional knowledge and the people, which large number of people which are involved with it. Uh, there is something. So ICICI gave a big chunk of money to do this Congress. And uh, IDBI, NABARD also a little bit. And uh, government gave small, small things, CSI 50,000 something, you know, that kind of thing, DST, etc. But basically it's a banking system which saw that there is, yeah, there's something good happening here. And immediately after the Congress, a lot of projects also came through. All of us, uh, Anil Gupta, Darshan, Vandana, and uh, many people, Narendra, etc. Many large scale plans based on traditional knowledge. Okay, we'll do something on the water system. We'll get seats, traditional seats into currency. You know, those imaginations could be seen in this platform. And uh, people sort of tried to construct. Uh, in variety of way, what can be done uh, using traditional knowledge. Well, there was one charge which came to the organizers that, okay, you people, there's so many 2,000 people collected here talking about traditional knowledge, but where are the practitioners of traditional knowledge in this Congress? 
and there were few practitioners, but they were seen <coughs> as theatrical. No? You give a demo, like you give artisan demo in Delhi Hat or something. Something of that, uh, it was that the people who were organizing this and, and uh, are, are sort of putting a rifle on ordinary people's shoulder and firing to their, on their own tar targets, etc. This was one of the charge which we took seriously at that time. The next Congress was done in 95. I thought, okay, there's a lot of modern people have come into this Congress and they have all got various projects, etc. from the government, somebody in water, somebody in health, somebody in this, somebody in agriculture, etc. metallurgy projects, variety of uh, government departments were making sales on traditional knowledge immediately after that. A depart uh, Ministry of uh, uh, Indian System of Health was started by the government after this thing. And uh, government was very happy about it. And various international bodies also, they already had their discourse going on in indigenous knowledge, some kind, was also uh, involved with it. In the next Congress, we thought, okay, what we'll do is we will uh, we try to gather people, uh, organizations of the people who own this knowledge. So, Vishwakarma communities, Padmashali communities, Pajapati communities, or Dhanvantaris. These are Vishwakarmas, are metal worker, wood workers, this, that, and uh, Padmashalis are all fiber people, artisans, etc. Pajapatis are earth work, earthen work people. We contacted uh, tens of organizations of, uh, of these organizations existed since 19th century. They registered with the British government as societies, etc. Middle of 19th century, many of these organizations, some of them, they kept changing and they exist even now. So we thought we'll gather these uh, together, and uh, it didn't happen. Though effort was made to gather uh, these organizations, uh, but in the end, the next Congress, which was done in Madras on traditional science technology, uh, turned out to be largely the same first Congress repeated. Repeated with, of course, a couple of special sessions where uh, you know, leaders of uh, caste associations of artisans and um, other skilled or knowledgeable people, they also participated. Uh, in fact, uh, something like uh, a dozen odd caste organizations formally participated in the thing. And uh, it was eye-opener also for many people. There are such structures in society. Uh, and in our meetings with these caste organizations, uh, we are trying, we were enthused that, okay, these are the owners of knowledge and you have already uh, organizational structures. Why don't you sort of come together on one platform? It becomes some kind of a uh, solid force which can lead to, you know, better productivity in society and, you know, more empowerment. But the leadership of the caste association was not interested in any of the traditional craft. We were surprised, except for, Padmash except for Padmashalis. The leadership and a small section of Vishkarmas. We exactly know the organizations which are slightly interested in this. This was a group which Karpri Thakur in Bihar called uh, most backward caste, OBC MVP. Uh, see, etc. Uh, and they don't have representation in parliament and uh, assemblies because they are distributed. Because distribution and one of the major concerns they had was how to get representation in polity. And other was how to do social welfare like marriages and uh, you know, some kind of social security. Security concerns were the major concerns. And this knowledge which they have was good. They would write books when they, or, or say glorious things about it. 
but not very keen in, in pursuing as an organization. The individual members were knowledgeable that they could do some, uh, you know, but as an organization to pursue this as a uh, main thing, uh, as one of the agenda uh, which we wanted to push them into, that wasn't, that didn't happen. So the third Congress was done in Varanasi. I'm taking too time, too much time. Okay, okay, that could cover five one to give a story. The five Congresses were held. The third one was uh, next uh, was held uh, in Varanasi, Gandhi Institute, Gandhian Institute of Studies. Uh, same people came, these 2,000 odd people, first, second, third, some changes were there. But this time the organizers were thinking that no problem with these caste organizations. Problem with the intellectuals was that they are diverse from the first Congress. Problem with this caste organization is that they, their aspirations are become very different, political and things like that. So what we should do, we should get a sense of locality into it. So local market is the main thing. It should be local, everything. So uh, a heart was organized in the third Congress at Varanasi. There are a lot of local market, many sessions were had, economy of local market and you know, innovations and local market. And all those things were uh, talked of. Uh, and uh, there was a lati charge also on the local market because the government didn't <laughs> want that. They so, brought their products also. Huh? They brought their products Yeah, they brought their products, but th the government didn't want to, uh, there was a, uh, some problem with the, not government, I think, uh, some people who run the municipality of uh, Varanasi, they had a problem. And, uh, but one thing we realized that the local market, uh, actual participant had no voice in the Congress. They were all kind of thinking about market and issues related to globalizations and things like that. And uh, very constructed economy. If you just see that amount of goods which local mar market can sustain among each other was uh, growing down very much and very depressed kind of thing. No leadership in the sense of having a voice of their own. That couldn't be seen there. So we did a fourth one. We thought, no, no, I mean, people who have come here are all global people, national people. They have come and talking about local market, no voice is there for the local people in that. What we should do is we should do a Congress of traditional science technology, which is, which only has nobody from outside, only local people will be there. That kind, it was held in Ocha in 99. Uh, so surprisingly, it had the same structure, 200 papers, all written from Bundelkhand region. It was a Congress of Bundelkhand. Bundelkhan region, small region. All participants were from Bundelkhan, except few organizers. Uh, and uh, it had 2,000 delegates, antical structure. That was some kind of invariant through the Congresses. And uh, all kind of issues, decent, all kind of issues are raised, water system there, agricultural practices, industry, local, and um, even education, local education system, everything is raised. There are too many retired people in the Bundelkhand region who retired from you know, Jalbord or many people, many participants were of that kind. There are not many scientific institutions there in Bundelkhand, the universities, colleges, etc. Some of the teachers were there from that, school teachers, and uh, very surprising set of people were there, very different set of people. And uh, this Bundelkan... Pauses are... Huh? Pauses are worrying me. Worrying. Sorry, okay. <laughs> okay, 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 sorry, sorry. I'm finishing it off. Quickly. Finishing I'm just looking for some word. Uh, the visionless uh, situation was there. Uh, in the Bundelkhand Congress, uh, Azadi of Bundelkhand became a major concern. How to uh, 
how do UP and MP has divided Bundelkhand, and that should Asmita Bundelkhand became a real concern in the Congress. And besides all this, the traditional knowledge, etc., the fifth one was we said, okay, this won't do. We should take up a very strong advocacy group. So we found that there is one uh, trade union of uh, weavers in Andhra. So we went to the trade union of weavers, and in Ocha, in, in sort of uh, Chirala, uh, fifth congress was organized. It became a weavers conference. Nobody came, despite a lot of effort, meetings, tens of preparatory meetings with each of them, etc. There was no solidarity. So uh, this is uh, not a bad story. I'm, I'm, it's, it's, I'm not discouraging anything here. And uh, probably the contours of construction, the moral of the story is to go from critique to constructions, one has to go in a somewhat different way than these imagination of a movement and imagination of uh, you know, getting rights in our, or uh, place for them in a state structure, all these moves are made all through. And uh, I think two great uh, possibilities for future. I am a great, we are great, all these people in this movement who are great believers in, in the strength of and traditional oil system also and uh, believe that there's a great future in it. I think I'll leave there. Oh, uh, it's Very quickly, you're pausing too long. Because there was, it's a reminiscent, this talk is a reminiscent kind of talk, so I have to look for words. I have to look for words, no? And, uh, okay, no, I think that the formal, the so knowledge aspect is to be taken very seriously and it's to be honored. And this effort is not around anywhere. The tradition knowledge, its justification, its validation has to be taken very seriously. That is something which uh, so that can... Ha, Karigar Panchayat mein Narendra will tell the story when he gets the occasion. Yeah. Okay. Let's go over the next there two points. Oh, uh, the second point is that there is going to be reconfiguring uh, of uh, sociality of traditional knowledge. The sociality is, uh, you know, India has become an urban country. Urban country, and Nilkani has just given 50 crores for study of that. Uh, the social situation is rapidly changed. The decline of agricultural labor, all kind of things are there, issues which are there, it's rapidly changed uh, social situation. So the reclamation of traditional knowledge is to take place in a different kind of sociality. And uh, self-employed people, the people who can think of only people with traditionally sound knowledge base can come up with imagination of self-employment very easily, even now. And uh, so encourage that direction. These two directions, I feel. It never declined. It never declined. Who said it declined? It's a story told. It's just one story told. There's a glorious story also. We will take up. That is an important question for all of us. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Singh, for. Uh,